Hello everybody, this is Zig Zag Zog coming to you from Western Kentucky and we're going to be continuing our Total War Three Kingdoms series playing as Sun John. And we recently took over Badong the small city and we urgently are going to need to pivot back to stop this invasion from the north. We have Wang Quang coming at us with his force and we have... Oh, Zhang Yang, I thought we made peace, but it's still showing we're at war up here. So I obviously didn't click something right or something. In the meantime, he got bought back off, maybe, to, um, to go after us. I don't know. What was... Oh, I better make sure I'm looking at the right person here. That was Zhang Yan. So let's go check... The diplomacy for Zhang Yan. No, actually, it's still showing a red circle around him as if he's at war to with us. So maybe that red circle just means he has a negative attitude towards us. Because it doesn't show that we're at war here. Well, who does it does is, is, let's see who we're at war with that Zhang Yan oh Yan not Yang <laughs> wouldn't you know <laughs> that's how simple it has been Zhang Yan we are at war with Zhang Yang uh, is, is who we made peace with. Isn't that a blast? Oh my god, these names are so close at times. One letter difference and I didn't notice. I made peace with the wrong one <laughs> is what it looks like to me. I'm gonna go have to go back and double check my last video, but that cracks me up and how typical. I do a lot of these recordings after work, so maybe I'm not at quite my freshest and most alert after a full day of work. So that, that's what I'm going to put the blame on. Shame on you, work. But anyway, we got a couple details to work on before we pivot over here next turn. Um, I'm also thinking, in between episodes here, I'm also thinking I am not comfortable with just Sun Tse moving north. I know, <coughs> excuse me, I know I said I was just going to move him north or up here to take over the Yangju Toolmaker, but I have a feeling I'm going to recall Sun Quan back over here to have both armies available to move against the Yangju Toolmaker. Reason being, Jia Hao Dun scares the heck out of me. He has beat me up in battle, at least individually. He is a threat in my mind. So, especially with his new strong force he's got over here new and improved force especially with the garrison it's also new and improved i'm thinking i need both armies for me personally to feel comfortable taking over that territory so we'll probably look at pivoting back there also so let's take care i think we couldn't find any use for the defenders leather but i have a tax collector i never assigned so let's quickly do that and i think um tax collector i think i have decided i'm going to give that to q shang ping i think that's a better fit than the trader so let's get the tax collector over there helps her authority a little more which is a better fit better synergy for her and then with her old retinue person her old follower i think we're going to go over to i think it's sun ze who can use if if we can bring the trader over right away we are going to then trade out the bodyguard here because that's not a super synergistic fit for Suze so let's assign this over here which now means we have a bodyguard to deal with and I'm thinking let's take a look adds to the instinct and everything that might be a nice fit for Sensei depending on who he has and look at I think it might be the only thing it does is um, we lose the effect of that plus 5% movement range, but I'm thinking that's not as critical to us right now um, since we're moving in on that town that we're going to attack. So let's do the trade to give instinct and melee evasion perk to his troops. That seems like a better fit. It increases his instinct, increasing his melee damage also. 
So that should leave us now with his old retinue guy, the Overseer. Um, who do we got left? I think really all we got left that really doesn't have anybody is probably Lun Song. If I recall, down at the bottom, I think everybody else has probably got somebody who either got Ze Yue. Whoops. Or Cunning and Authority, but that's not a big a fix there. Lun Song, Cunning and Authority. Authority wouldn't be bad to get a little extra buff there. So I think it's the best fit right down here. And we will have the Overseer. Go to Lin Song. Okay, our little housekeeping is done there now. Finally, a lot of shuffling around, but I think we got some better synergies with that. Uh, the last thing I'll look at before we hit the next turn button is I'm thinking with the Zindu port, the fishing port that we've taken over, I will spend my funds this turn because most of our uh, most of our armies are close, if not at full strength. Um, so I'm thinking I want to work towards upgrading that fishing port, making it less vulnerable. This first step up will not do that. It won't increase the garrison, but probably the step up after that will definitely help us with, with increasing our garrison. So I'm going to start making progress towards that because that looks a little exposed to all these folks coming down the river. So I'm going to work on buffing that up a little bit with my garrison to make it a little little tougher to take do a little more um, hurt to anybody trying to take it over too. right now it's just too easy so let's see what the next turn brings us get out of this winter okay so we're both continuing down I have confidence looking at those forces coming down from the north they're both like half strength they're both not top of the line units within them um, I think the only general is that first one when I looked at him. He may have some legendary stats. But I don't think I feel super threatened with Sun John leading the defense. Hopefully he can get over there soon enough. That's a thing. But they got not some great roads. And if I can get down the river and hook up with my great roads over here, I should hopefully be able to overtake him. Plus, I put Huang Gai in charge of the army and he got a perk of plus 25 percent campaign movement range when he's the commander which is why I put him in command so all those should hopefully hopefully cross your fingers get us over here quick enough to defend from that incursion from the north anything interesting up here uh, Duang Zhuo you're just don't know what's going on here Lu Bai and Lu Yao Dem vassal demands autonomy vassal demanded autonomy well that's kind of confusing Lu Yao, Lu Bai, or it's almost like they're each a vassal of each other and they're demanding autonomy from each other. So, so this little pop-up confuses the heck out of me, so let's just ignore it and get away from it. We have faction succession, Wang Quang, succeeded by Yi Jian Li Ting. So Wang Quang is coming down towards us. So did, what did he do? Did he just die on his way down? Because uh, wasn't he in this army, I think? So he must have just perished and died on the way or something for that succession to take place. That's my guess. Zay Rong declared war. We just bought him off, so he's got to go find someone else to fight with. And he's getting plenty of other wars being declared against him. And finally, yeah, that's it. So we are caught up on the goings-on. Let's go see... If we can get Sun John down the river as quick as I hope, um, it's going to take... Yeah, we, we won't hurt too much on public order by taking the garrison out of there. It'll take a few turns to get it back, but we're, we're not in bad shape here. So let's see if we can get Sun, Sun John's army led by, temporarily, Huang Gai. Hopefully he's Huang fast and crazy guy moving down the river so let's see how far he can get down the river pretty far so let's see can we go right about here will that give us enough movement to get land bound and then we'll be pretty dang close to this road and then I'll feel a lot better about getting back to defend they don't have this nice great quality road like we do 
Let's see if we can get up out. Okay, we got, we're out of the river. So I, I like our position here, and I feel we're in position to be able to defend against that incursion. That makes me feel a lot more comfortable moving back Sun Quan and his very untested army. Um, if we took you off forced march, how far can you get over here? And then Sun Tse, I'm not going to jump you in there all on your own anymore. I'm not thinking that's what I want to do. Decisions, decisions on where to move you and what would be best. Um, if he comes out, maybe we can match up with him without his garrison over there out in the open field. That might be a possibility. So let's kind of move you over here. You don't need much replenishment, but we sure do on our mounted bow. Our mounted arrow soldiers here. Mounted archers. Oh my goodness. They're, they're the weak ones. They took a... At least this one unit took a chewing last battle. Let's decide to bring you into the trees on our land so you can replenish. And I doubt with you used probably too much movement. So let's get you... Do you have any more movement to get a little more up towards the road? Yes, we do. We're in the trees. We'll see if defensively if he comes out against us now. Because this way, I'd rather have Sun Quan be able to react not being in forced march mode. And then we can join up and make our move on the Yang Zhu. I don't want him in forced march up at the border that close to the enemy. So let's just do it this way. They aren't close enough, unfortunately, to support each other in battle. That's a concern, but uh, hopefully he's just going to stay camped in town where he feels safe. It uh, looks like we have a new reform coming up. And I'm kind of leaning. We obviously have a lot of trade options over here to start building this up, but not of the, none of the immediate perks you know, other than getting closer to another available trade agreement stand out right now. And a lot of these initially are industry focused. I don't mind these construction time. Well, that's just for mines. Construction time never bothers me, lowering construction time. So that's an option, but I'm also leaning towards having another administrator position available. So let's, let's pick that. We also have some other promotions down the agricultural area that might help us eventually grow some other provinces. But right now, I think I want the extra administrator position. See if we can't get some extra buffs going. And let's see who is the best fit as an administrator. They all add... you know, faction-wide effects up at the top and then administered commandery effects down at the bottom. So the faction-wide effects pretty much are consistent other than their desire for higher office kind of information will vary from character to character, but mostly minus 30 corruption, minus... 30 corruption, yeah. So that, the top part's similar. It's the bottom part where I'm going to get the benefits. Oh, and here we go. There's my choice. We are going to use Cheng Pu as my second administrator. Let's confirm him. And then let's decide. I'm thinking Lu Zhang is the place right now where I'm doing a lot of building, where his reduction in building costs is going to pay off the most. Um... So let's head over here. I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going to want to put him. And then if we take over the toolmaker, that'll complete that commandery too. So let's look at Lu Zhang as the place to place Cheng Pu. Okay, there we got that done. Let's move on and see what else there is to take care of. Uh, with those kind of funds, do I want to look at building up the last couple slots in my armies? My income's okay-ish now. Um, what would we want to do here? Possibly bring in that one more medium axe infantry, the mercenaries here. 
I'm thinking that'll pop you right in and strengthen you up, Cheng Pu. You're otherwise fairly balanced. Let's just complete your army and call it a day. Nice advantage. It sure is nice having those mercenary choices because that's just a fully recruited unit right off the bat. You don't have to mess with the mustering as much. That's kind of a cool perk playing as Sun John, having the mercenaries available to us. Let's see now. Let's see what the next turn is going to bring us. We've got these guys coming in from north. Who do I want to more keep an eye on? Either way, I can back up a tiny bit and kind of have eyes on everybody this way. Let's see what happens. Who is that? We don't like new faces appearing on the horizon. We will support Yuan Shu's legitimacy, of course, because we like the payment that comes along with us. Plus, he's just been our best bud for a while, so he's we have a good relationship going. And let's negotiate. Let's keep that positive. In fact, let's take a little less money from him and just make it a little more in his favor just to keep that attitude positive with him. Very good, very good. Oh, that's even better. Zhang Yan deciding, nah, I've had a none of this. I don't need Sun Zhan who's moving towards us. But we still have Wang Quang's former empire moving down. Now I gotta learn the new leader of that empire, Yi Jian Li Ting. Oy. Filling up my head with all these names. <laughs> it's sometimes a challenge to keep track of all these new names. Okay, Lu Bai has commanded their vassal. Oh, Lu Bai, shame on you. We don't need to be at war with Lu Yao, but he's asked him to join the war with him. Shame on you, Lu Bai. And he has also got them at war with Zheng Jiang. So good. I'm not the only one being... Oh, he's requesting the master to go to war also. So I'm not the only target. So I, I like it when they're splitting... Splitting who they're going against, that that doesn't bother me as much. It's when I'm the sole target that you tend to get a little more impact from those. Traits gained. Zhe Yue is now creative, helping her expertise. That's a positive. We got new characters moving through. We'll take a peek at... Let's see, we got a new champion moving through. Let's just see if they anybody looks interesting. And we will watch their loyalties also. Huo Nu, who are you coming from? Yuan Shu. Well, he's my best bud, but I don't need to press those spy issues with him. We're on good relations, so why tempt him to spy on us by using someone directly from him? Um, Kiao Miao. Yi Jian Li Ting, I don't think that's a go. That's a pretty obvious move, if you ask me, on trying to sneak someone in. And Liu Yu, I don't think all of these have affiliations that I'm interested in, so I think we're going to ignore them at the moment. I don't trust those affiliations, and we built our public fishing jetties. As a matter of fact, can we get to the next level? Is it possible in the Jindu port? Yes, and at least this one gets up. Our, our garrison there that makes me just feel that little bit more comfortable. And how shall we work this? How far can everybody get? I think we can make our move on the toolmaker and have both armies move forward. I think... That's our best bet. Is that our best bet? I don't know. We're, I think that's our best bet. So Sun Tse, let's charge in right now. And you will be followed up. Because yes, he can make it. We will follow that up with Sun Quan. And we will siege and see what the odds look like. 
Yeah, by yourself, not so good. But let's find out. Let's starve out. And let's bring Sun Quan over here and see if we got anything different. Now, who is this? Liu Bai. I'm not happy having you move down, Liu Bai. We're going to have to check out the negotiating with Liu Bai. All the more reason to get my armies together and close to each other. Now, Sun Tse, if we do the attack now, what kind of a chance do we have on the old meter? It's a, it's a, it's, it's all the way up to a Pyrrhic victory. Woohoo! Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Map view. Yeah, I think we're going to... That's a tight, compact map. I think we're going to... Work on starving them out. We'll do a little demand surrender, which I don't think is going to do anything. We're going to starve them out a little bit. That's the initial plan. Then let's talk to Lubia, Lubai and see how angry is he really with us. Let's get a sense over here. In fact, Lubai, you have a nice current attitude with us, don't you? How would you like to negotiate? Since you're looking so nice with us, what is it going to take with peace? Since you like us, are we going to be able to? 7.7. .7. Hmm. That's got to be something we can work with, right? Got to be something we can work with. Let's see what we have available as ancillaries. We do have a steed, a die... Uh, not a bad horse. There's an option. And we don't have anybody there available. Nothing really. Let's see what the horse is worth. If it can get me peace and get him off my back. I'm a little nervous having his big old army there. It's only worth... Oh, it brings it positive. He likes that horse. In fact, since that's the case, I'm willing to give up the horse at this time. I'm sure others will come, right? Right? And he's already very happy with us. Let's just get the most we can from him. Five hundred forty P and the horse. He's gonna give us five forty. Not much in the way of cash, but it gets us peace with Liu Bai. And I'm thinking that's in our favor, because it weakens that alliance that the, we had going with Cao Cao. Maybe Cao Cao will start feeling less confident. Let's see if this will have any impact down the road. All I know is it takes the immediate pressure off me with his army being so close. So we have peace. Now that big old army doesn't look quite so threatening up there and we can focus just on Cao Cao down here. That makes me feel more comfortable. Um, I think we will continue our move. Yeah, I like that positioning. I don't think we need to force march or anything. We can just bring our guy up this way. Huang guy, you've helped out with your movement bonus. I do believe it was worth putting you in charge of the army for a little while. And let's just move you to your maximum at this time. Let's get up to the bridge if we can as close as possible. And that leaves us with okay funds. Do we have where do we have building opportunities? Lu Zhang. Oh, we might as well just go right on ahead and build. Oh, that's the pine. That's the woodcutter camp. Okay. So we can't build up our fishing port anymore, but we have built it up to at least it has an okay-ish garrison finally. So I'm feeling more comfortable with that. So we get the county academy built, work on increasing our character experience faction-wide. Let's just go ahead and do that. Minor little cost, still keep some money in reserve. I think we'll call that a turn. Let's see what the future brings. 
Is he gonna sally out over here? Do we got ourselves a big battle with Jahoudun? And how far south will the new leader over here get? How far south will Yi Jian Li Ting advance? Let's find out. We will become the vassal of Liu Bai. He's offering us vassalage. Uh, I like my. I don't like the idea of being a vassal right now. There could be some strategy in that. I could imagine, uh, especially with the guarantee of autonomy. But right now, I think I'm gonna reject that. For you know, unfortunately, we have a really good attitude right now. So hopefully, it just doesn't upset him too much by me just going, nah, not right now, it's not right now. And we got ourselves a battle. Decisive defeat because he picked a night battle of all things. No wonder. So that means I cannot get reinforced by Sun Quan. And force, of course, he can get reinforced. So, oh no, I'm not thrilled about this. I guess the hope is that in this battle, even if we do get defeated that we weaken him enough so that's the plan that's going to be the goal is that we find a way to weaken him enough looking at his generals i like the idea of fighting yue jin in a duel but i don't like the idea of fighting jiao dun at all and what does his garrison army look like not a bad little group for a garrison but not also at full strength. Hmm. So I'm thinking, we, well, these two can't duel anyway. I'm thinking I will not put him on no accepting of duels for Sun Tse, but if Zhao Dun wants to do with me, I will deny that duel, I think. I will just refuse it with him, but if the opportunity comes up with Yue Jin, I will take it. Let's start the battle and cross our fingers. This could be my first defeat that we get to see, but let's hope it comes with a purpose, and that's weakening down the force within there and maybe allowing Sun Quan to have the ability to take over their weakened position. Okay, here we are. Oh my my, oh my my. Wide open battlefield. That's for dang sure. I don't know if I like that being outnumbered like I am. Predicted a definite decisive defeat. I'm out. I'm almost outnumbered two to one. Can you believe that? Oh my lord. Oh, let's see. I think what I got to do is we're gonna keep Sun Tse to the front to see if we can scout out that one duel that I do want to have take place. Uh, it's just wide open, not a lot of cover, not a lot of terrain to take advantage of. But why don't we at least see if we can utilize this rock formation for any kind of good. Let's get our line set up here. We'll start out with our Axeman here, and I'm thinking finish off with the halberds, and we'll see. We'll see if they come around since this is kind of cutting off this side. He can still go around it, but maybe he'll be more likely to come on this flank, and there I have my halberds to work against any cavalry he might use. Um, we still have our wonderful archers that I have, I have not quite learned how to properly use to their maximum benefit, but we will still attempt to do that. <laughs> See if we can finally learn how to do that in this episode, or this battle. Um, we will take these flankers, though. My one little bit of flanking cavalry. Can they hide in these measly little trees anywhere? No, they cannot. I don't see anybody hiding over here very well. Doesn't look like we can get them hidden in trees. Is there trees there? Nope, nobody is hiding in those little trees. 
So they're going to be behind the rock, but they're going to be able to be seen. So he'll know they're there. I guess that's not much. <laughs> that's not, there's just not enough trees to hide these guys in. I guess. What we can do maybe though is on the other cavalry. That will go against their archers. We can set them up back here. Maybe they, this looks like a bigger copse of trees. We can maybe hide them over here. Gosh, you really tell me it says there's forest. I'm getting that forest symbol over here when I hover. I should be able to hide some. Oop. There we go. What do you know? Can I find a sweet spot? Can they both hide or is it just not a big enough forest to, to get lucky? Okay, enough clicking around. They ain't gonna hide. One is hidden, one is not. That's just the way it's gonna be. Maybe. Should I? Should I? Should I? Am I gonna have enough tree here? Nah, I don't think so. Well, I can always try. With the one that I can't hide, let's put them right here. And then we can see if he can hide right here. To just to have something hidden from him. Just to have some kind of surprise for him. Even though we're going to get overwhelmed in the end, I think. But like I said, we want to try to maximize the damage output we can, we can do on him. Let's see, that gets pretty good range on the trebuchets. So hopefully that will help weaken him. Any little thing I can do anything to weaken anything at all will be a help let's get them right up front is that the best way to use them is that really the best way to use them uh, we'll find out and we'll get our generals back here not that they're the most threatening okay I don't know if I'm ready for this I don't like to lose but it may be a loss with a purpose if we're lucky it may be a loss with a purpose. Let's just hope our main characters can survive. That's what I really hope. I, I would be dismal. It would be dismal if we lose our main characters. Let's start this battle and see what happens. Nobody in sight at the top of the hill doesn't surprise me. Let's move forward and scout out where the enemy might be. Let's speed up that process a little bit here. Let's go, Sensei. Let's get to the top of the hill here and see who you can see. We got those lanterns floating up from the field. Do you see anybody, Sensei? Oh, there we go. Let's slow this back down. First of all, I want to do two things. Let's get the flaming arrows. Let's get you in skirmish mode. I don't like forgetting that. Sensei, can you do a dent in that cavalry there? Can we do some damage while they're out of range? Can we weaken them down a bit? Nice power move, Sensei. We got more cavalry over here. Sensei, we're going to leave you against this guy over here to see if you can weaken him down. That seems to be a decent matchup for you. Except we don't want to let those spear guys come closer. vision on anybody else out there. I don't want him to be sneaking up and surprising me here. Oh, well, we did a number on that cavalry there. We've broken one cavalry. We've got to see if we can break another cavalry unit. Keeping our eyes on the spears moving forward. Where is the bulk of his army yet? Not, not. Kind of over the hill line over here. 
Might be time for you to give up, Sensei, as they're moving their spears in here. Let's get out of that. Get into this cavalry, do some damage. Get away from them. Get away from those spears. That's not where I wanted you. Come on now, listen to me, Sensei. Get in here so we can use a power move that has a purpose. Okay, you got some troops around you. Let's do it. Let's do some damage. There we go. That's better. That's better. That's a worthwhile power move. Let's get these archers out of here. I don't want them one-on-one. -on -one. Come on, Sensei, do your business on these guys. They're weakened now. You're not going to take too much damage from them. Yes. Fire arrows now can go against these spears, and pretty soon these guys are going to be freed up, I hope. There, that one gave up. Sensei, get back. They're rebounding up here. Let's have you take care of them. There's no other immediate threats in the area. Let's do what damage we can against their spearmen over here. They're spreading out to minimize the damage from the arrows. Let's get in close again for a move. and say, let's get you back out of there. Got some archery dudes back here. Let's get them going. They're doing some damage on us. I'm very tired, so you can see me slowing down. Oh my goodness, Sensei. Let's get you some. Do we have some help we can get you? Well, obviously, he's got some lone archers out there. They're an easy target. We are finally not doing a lot of weakening over here on these spearmen, but at least I'm getting some use out of my horse archers for a change. Sensei, you are tiring. We got to get you out of this. Trebuchets on that unit chasing Sunsei. See if we can do some damage out there. And get Sunsei rested up a little bit. Time to bring that cavalry back. I don't see any archers really that they can go against. Oh, 
And I never really did hide this other cavalry, did I? Sensei, you've deserved and earned a rest. done some early damage and we're holding on but we have not really faced the brunt of his forces yet I fear so I'm still not feeling comfortable still not feeling good about this battle I would love to be able to send my cavalry over here to help up the, the horse archers we're almost out with the trebuchets who can we use some weakening on let's try these swordsmen over here Okay, we got some more archers popping up this way. Focus, let's focus, let's get in on these archers before they do too much damage on us. Speed it up, speed it up. Oh, he's got lines right behind him. Now we're seeing the link. Now we're seeing his forces. That's what we're seeing. Uh-oh. Can we do some damage before they get in too close, though? That's the question. Get out of there, guys. You did some damage. It's about the most I'm going to be able to expect out of you, I think. Guys, in our background, we're all they are all around us. They are all around us. Time to bring out our cavalry over here to come in on their rear and do some damage as we can, as much as we can. I think it's time to take our horse archers out of the business of being horse archers and try to also bring them in on the rear. And my cavalry here, unfortunately, got caught up catching their line here. Sensei, uh, if you're a little rested now, I hope we got to bring you in on this thing. We need some help in the rear. We are hurting here. Take them off skirmish, bring them in. Can we take some pressure off over here? Forgot about, didn't keep my cavalry moving. Let's bring them in to help at the last minute, a little too late.
我军士卒仓皇逃命，真乃丧家之犬。顽强不屈，奉行云端。马军准备，杀呀！进军。I'm losing the ability to talk. There's too much going on right now. Bring these cavalry back in over here. Get some shots fired by our crossbow to help weaken. Whole goal is weaken, 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 weaken. Can't keep the cavalry in engagements like that. Can't keep them. We got to keep them mobile. Keep them moving. They're getting tied up just too much. Oh, I think we're about to lose it. Do we get out of here? Do we get out of here? Have we done what we can? Try to save who we got? I think we're done. I think we're done. We're losing it. We're losing it. I don't know that we have it for a last stand at all. Let's withdraw. Withdraw, withdraw, withdraw. Let's go, let's withdraw. This is over. We've done our damage. It's time to pull out and hope it's enough. I do believe. Now we can only cross our fingers and hope it was a valiant defeat in my eyes. I thought we did more damage than I expected. <sighs> but there's still a lot left standing. The only question is, was it enough? We were just simply overwhelmed. No amount of maneuvering, at least with my skill level, was going to make this a victory. Let's just hope we come back to fight another day. We'll speed this up and wrap this to its conclusion. A valiant defeat. Tough, 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 tough. Valiant makes it sound good, but the bottom, in the bottom line, it's still a defeat. We just got to cross our fingers now, looking at his forces. A lot of depleted forces. Sun Quan, are you going to be able to step up and take advantage of this situation now? Time will tell. They lost more. There is hope. They lost more. But they still have more than us. But that's just against Sun John's army. We still have Sun Quan in, the, in reserve. 
What else have we got going? Who is this coming down the river? Now there's some intrigue. They're just coming at us from all angles. Every turn, there's someone new popping up. I'm going to take a peek over here where I saw something coming down in the river. This force right over here. Who is that? Ah, Yuan Shu, never fear. My bud coming to my rescue. So I'm not worried so much now here. We outmatch this force here. The question is going to be... And this is a question we will have to get resolved next turn because I don't know about you, but I am exhausted from that battle just trying to maximize the damage we did. And I still don't know if it's enough. Only time is going to tell. So with that in mind, we'll go through all the little housekeeping details next time. Well, let me just get rid of this diplomacy one. Liu Bai has commanded their vassal Liu Yao to join a war against Xi. Z. So I'm fine with that. Oh, and we got a new son. Let's get some good news in here after the battle. Sun Quan has had a new child. A daughter has been born. So that's always nice to see. And that's it. The rest we will deal with when we come back. Thank you all for watching. If you have any other ideas on what I could have done in that battle to maybe either incur more casualties on his part or somehow pull out the win i would love to hear any tips that you might have that could have made this a different kind of result or a better result so please chime in in the comments if you have those kind of ideas this is zigzag zog signing off from western kentucky yes we're still hot and muggy and you all thank for watching